Right, starting with the Lightning F1. This is exactly the same kit as the F2, and there's plenty of other reviews online about the F2. This one, I'm giving you my thoughts on what you can do with this kit. Adam Toby, uh, who done a stunning artwork on the box, as as he has done with other ones as well for Rarefix. A really great picture on this. So let's get on with the box itself. Uh, you can see several designs with the box. There is three colour schemes, I should say. Um, there's the red team, which is on the front of the box, and the next one down is a black spine on the aircraft itself again another nice one and then we've also got the camo version here as well um, I'm leaning towards the camo version myself at the moment but we'll see what happens lightning has a very distinctive wing, wing shape and so does the fuselage capturing both in scale and accuracy is a challenge for manufacturers it's an airfoil shape is accurately captured with uh, airfix the trumpeter one, which is one thirty-second scale, which has got quite a big model, um, gets it right on the wings. Unfortunately, the rest of the kit falls far behind that. Uh, it's accuracy on this one forty-eight scale. Uh, it's it's almost perfect. There's only there's only a few odd little things that little niggles, little niggles like the there's a small air scoop. Uh, that adorns the rear end of the lightning on both sides. You, you need an, uh, to open them up with a like a little rat tail file or uh, one of the new sanding stuff from like uh, Albion alloys. Um, this does the job nicely and it just gives that extra little bit of touch to the model. Um, the lines on the um, model are perfect uh, I think um, not gone into it too deeply but uh, all the panel lines and all that seem to be absolutely lovely they're actually quite fine for the airfix and uh, but they're still crisp and clean the only thing I would suggest if if you're doing like the one uh, the camouflage one I would run a uh, a knife down them just to clean them up that little bit more make them that little bit deeper um, by the time you've got your primer on and your two top coats on uh, you're going to lose them so just make them that little bit deeper uh, that, that's one thing that I will do with this kit the parts are absolutely gorgeous some of these the F2 fin here uh, or F1 fin Actually, it, the F1 and the F2 are virtually the same aircraft. So, um, and you have the parts in here to build both. So this one actually will build all of them uh, from F1 up to F3. I'm not sure about the F2 version they brought out, whether the, the moulds are all the same. I believe they are. So each one, although they actually say they've only got those ones on there, what they're actually talking about is the decals the decals are for Pacific aircraft and marks having said that you can actually go out and buy a new set of decals for whatever one you want to do and there are plenty of schemes out there uh, for you to paint on this model the uh, rest of the parts are well molded and I really mean well molded the tyres and rims are beautiful. Again, you could enhance these a little bit with some photo etch. Um, again, Eddard, I know for definite, have some wheel rims uh, extensions to put on them and that, and some of the brake uh, bits and pieces to go on there in photo etch, which would make it really nice. Uh, the seat, the Martin Baker seat, which is a Mark IV ejection seat, it's uh, the only thing 
I can see you can need to add to this is actually seat belts. And again, Eddard, uh, when you do the when you get the cockpit version, it will come in with the cockpit version. Um, and just add them seat belts. It's up to you. I mean, you can scratch build these quite easily. Um, although there is a lot of belting in there. Uh, <coughs> and also they do the ladder if you want to keep the cockpit open uh, cockpit canopy open it, there is a ladder you can get from Eddard which means that you can uh, have a, one of the crews um, walking up the ladder or you can have the pilot inside with a crewman outside uh, helping him belt up all the parts seem to be great there's no flash as I can see apart from one part on on the rear where with the the a tree actually curls round on itself and there's a bit of flash in between the part and the tree at that point but it's easily removed the mold lines are very small on it so uh, just a light scraping with a knife and you can they will come off no trouble at all apart from that I don't think there's anything else I can really talk about about this um, it's gone into a real detail on other reviews however um, I, I will be giving some extra advice now on the the burn cans and the jet pipes they are the details there but it's not that good if you buy their one uh, they do the wheel well parts you could do uh, to be fitted in they're very good um, also on that particular um, photo etch, they do a replacement photo etch burner can outside detail. Uh, it would look a lot better for the model, and as it is one of the points you would actually see on display, I would I would really say yes if you can get those great or a resin uh, replacement for it. That would be the best thing. Red top missiles, uh, fire streaks, and overwing tanks. There's two of each of these. Uh, now, if you're using the F3, the red tops and fire streaks aren't used, but the overwing tanks are. So, which you don't that normally see on the builds of the kit, and uh, there are a few other bits and pieces. So the rocket pods and all that you can actually keep in your spares box for something else uh, the clear parts on it are really clear it's got a split canopy windscreen so that you can pose it open uh, the red tops and the uh, uh, fire streaks have got clear noses in them one thing I've got to say is that I've heard people say oh well why did they do them clear they've got to be painted over well they don't get painted over what it is is people see the um, cover that's over the top of them or they're a dummy one and that's why they've been painted red and black that's as you can see in the pictures here they are actually clear when they're on the aircraft ready for launching so uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing these there are details of uh, I've already mentioned the decals on of the sheets. On this particular one, the sheet only seems to be about an A. No, not an A. Uh, it's about three quarters of an A4 sheet, rather than if if you go to the um, the F2 version of this uh, on the box, the sheet is actually a big big sheet. It's, I think it's bigger than A4 actually. So you get a lot more. Uh, decals on that all the decals are some of them are bigger than on this sheet but having said that the sheet of decals are very thin I don't believe they're cartograph but they are very well printed they're slightly thicker than the uh, cartograph ones which are very thin sometimes they're wafer thin and uh, you do have trouble putting them on but uh, these ones are on slightly on a thicker side but uh, the 
outside edge where you, uh, the film overruns the printing part is very, very small. There's not much overrun on it, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, and should make these go down absolutely perfectly. Instructions are typical airfix, and uh, like I said, there's some steps I would go and put them on, uh, not in order, but uh, basically for painting purposes only. If you found it, it's uh, you want to follow the instructions, do do so. It is the best thing to do. Um, if you know you, if you've done a, a few builds, you know what you can put on, what you can't put on. So. I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. I don't know when, but I will be building it this year. Airfix have done an absolute marvellous job. Uh, this is mainly because of the engineering and quality and time. So much better than anything the company has ever produced before. Through their 48 scale Spitfire, which I, which I actually love that one. Uh, I've still got to build that. Uh, well, actually, the Sea Fire, that's the one I've got to build. It's also so very impressive, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, and I would recommend the Sea Fire to anybody who wants to build an accurate kit with an unusual uh, colour scheme, folding wings, so it doesn't take up so much space. It is really a beautiful aircraft, as is this one. Everything is moulded well and with no excess flash to speak of there's a little bit but not much uh, the mould stood up to a good test of time very well it's quite an old kit we're talking about the 90s and uh, I put a picture up for the original kit box uh, so it's not a new tooling but it's like it's better than the, some of the new toolings the panel lines they're not so deep they're still crisp and clean, but there are much finer detail on the model than the newer stuff. And having that like that, when you put an owl cloud over the top, you're going to see every panel line in there. I just think it may need a very slight uh, panel knife just to go in there and just, just take that little extra out. Um, just so that when you put a primer on there it doesn't fill up all the uh, panel lines now that's my own personal opinion I'm going to give this a star rating out of five uh, the quality of the moulding five stars the instructions five stars the decals are five stars again the subject choice I think is five stars the only one I'm going to drop a star on is the accuracy. It's going to be a four star. And the reason for this is that some of the cockpit details are not there. Uh, the misrepresentation of it. Although for most people a paint job in the, in the cockpit tub would do the thing um, very nicely. Um, there's also some missing bits on the back of the behind the cockpit chair but apart from that I'm gonna to have to give it a four star rating but overall I'm gonna give it a five star rating a highly recommended and uh, hope you keep watching for my uh, build of this one like I said I'm gonna be doing this this year I'll probably start it after the Shackleton I need something to do and this is one so until next time, it's goodbye from me, goodbye from Carla. Keep up the modelling. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.